Hey and welcome back to my tutorials video. So today I'm going to show you how to layer an image with our vinyl. So for you, those of you that have watched my videos, my tutorial videos, if you go on and watch the contour video, I'm actually going to layer the image that I contoured in the video. So all you're going to need for this is obviously your cutouts of your image, some transfer paper, your scraper, your weeder, and some like parchment paper or tracing paper or any kind of paper that you can see through. So the first thing we're going to do is to weed our images. So if you just get your weeder and pick at the corner and then just weed the image out nice and slowly, take your time. Just put it, put it away. And sometimes if, if, it, if it gets too big, just grab a pair of scissors and just cut away. And then you'll just find that the excess part's not sticking to anything. And then just screw it up and just pop that, pop that to one side and then just carry on weeding. It just helps with anything that's obviously intricate or anything like that. It just helps it come off a bit more, a bit more easily. There you go. And the vinyl I'm using is from Hexix Crafts. Um, go and have a look on their website. Their vinyl's really, really good. And this is all the glossy, the glossy range. And it's absolutely beautiful and, and so easy to weed as well. So if I just pop the scissors to the side, just carry on weeding the vinyl. And you'll see, you'll see the image. It's the flower, it's the flower image that I'm going to layer. Then just to pick the top the top corner and then just weed nice and carefully. Nice and carefully. And like I said, if it gets a bit too much, just get your scissors and just cut. Cut the excess vinyl away. Lots of people just try and pull it and then their image gets stuck together or anything like that. I've got a nice delicate bit of stem on that bit. And just read it off and pop that to one side and then get the last piece. Same again. Just follow it round onto your image. Same again. There we go. So the next thing you need to do is to get some transfer paper to be able to take this off to pop on to our image. Now I've done a black image and you can look on my contour video of how I done this and why I did it. And then we're going to layer these on top of here. It just helps the picture just pop out. Um, and for those of you that are not sure on layering, there's a trick that I'm going to show you with the with the grease proof paper. So all we're going to do first is we're going to layer the um, petals onto the black image. So we just get our transfer tape, just put the others to the side. Okay. And then take the tape off. Remember, don't throw the backing away because we can restick this after we've used it. Okay. And then the best way not to get air bubbles is just literally push down on the left, get your scraper, and it's just one motion. Okay. And scrape down, 
backwards, turn it over, scrape, and then that will just peel, peel off, okay? If it's not, stick it back down and then keep on scraping, okay? This piece we can throw away. And then we get our image. I'm just gonna leave this upside down just to show you how this can help you. So if you was to pop your parchment paper or baking paper over the image, you can see the outline, okay? Now you can kind of hover above, but we have excess here that we're able to stick down. So, because obviously if we didn't have this and we just popped that in the wrong place, we wouldn't be able to remove it because once it's down, it's down. So we're just going to literally hover it over the black and work out the best the best way to layer it, the position that you want it in, and everything like that. So you just line it up, the image. And I'm, I'm just trying to do it so you can see that the places that it would go. Does that make sense? So it will have a black, it will have a black outline. So once you're happy with where it would be, if you was just to pull this down, okay, and that would be lined up. If you put some transfer tape, okay, and just stick that above the image, okay. Now it's not stuck, it's just stuck on the top piece. And we can see, pushing on this, that we're happy with it. All you would need to do is to peel that back, remove the vinyl, remove the baking paper, Okay, get your scraper, okay, and then just push down onto it. Okay, and you should be able to see some black outline on the image that I've chosen. Okay, so you just scrape it and then you just peel it off. Okay. Okay, can you see this? Then you just remove your transfer tape and then you get your next piece. I'm going to do the circle. So I'm just gonna use a corner, pop that into place, scrape. your parchment paper okay and then you can just stick it on I'm just going to eyeball this bit and then peel it off and then the same again for the last piece is the stems so just pop it into position Scrape, turn it over, scrape, peel, get your parchment paper, and then we've got an excess, got quite a big bit to be able to stick underneath the parchment paper. So then we before we can line it up, and you can see that it's a little bit bubbled, but it's fine because we can scrape this out in a second. And you just line it, line it up, hover over, and then push this down onto the excess part at the bottom. So you can see that it's in place. Move this back. Okay, get your scraper and scrape it. Okay, and then Peel. It will peel the back bit off because I've pushed a little bit too hard, but it's fine because I don't want to take off all the image. I just want to layer it onto this piece. So I just peel it off, stick this back onto the paper that you got, and there you go. That's how you layer using this method. And what you can do is you can just pop some transfer tape 
we've got you can just lay that over the top and then that can just like go in a drawer if you don't want to stick it on anything and save it for another date so hope this helps guys thanks for watching